hi there students spin off a spin off to spin off so it can be both a phrasal verb and a phrasal noun I think the phrasal noun is much more common so a spin off a spin off is an unexpected additional benefit a spin-off can be when a company separates part of itself into a subsidiary com company or a spin-off can be um, a new TV show that comes from um, an existing one or a new work that comes from an existing one let me look at these in more detail okay so an unexpected additional benefit the pocket calculator was a spin-off of the space program so they started making all sorts of miniature things to go into space and one of the unexpected additional benefits was um, the pocket calculator. When a company wants to sell part of itself, one way they often do it is by taking the part that they want to sell and spinning that off into a separate division or a separate company yeah and then they sell that company to another company yeah so they wanted to spin off the newspaper business yeah so they spun off a new company and then sold that to the buyer a spin off okay a, a TV series, a book, a radio program, yeah, that already exists, and then they use the character or the set characters or the setting, and they create a new program, but based on these people, yeah. So, for example, um, Star Trek has had lots and lots of spin-offs video games, different series, um, lots and lots of additional um, things using the original series. So I guess the films would be a spin-off of the uh, original series. A spin-off could be a video game, for example, a radio program mind you sometimes it goes the other way the hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy by douglas adams originally was a radio program and i think the film is a spin-off of the radio program so it does go the other way okay so a spin-off an additional benefit yeah a byproduct that happened by accident or by chance but it's also beneficial to separate a company into two parts to separate off a smaller part of a company yeah it's not um the splitting of a company into two parts yeah it's separating off a part for a specific purpose normally for sale and then a spin-off, a new program or uh, product coming from an existing uh, literary work or TV show or radio program. So, let's see. An un unexpected benefit or an additional benefit. If you go to an English-speaking country to study at an english-speaking university maybe one of the spin-offs will be when you go back to your own country you can teach english because your english is now so good that you have the ability to teach english so this would be a spin-off 
That is, unless you go to the university to become a language teacher, obviously. Then it's not a spin-off. Um, the company needed money, and uh, they spun off one or two parts of the company into separate companies and then sold them. Yeah? So, to sell part of the company, separate into a new one. And if a TV series is really popular, then normally there are spin-offs from it. Yeah? I'm sure you could give me examples of spin-offs from original programs or original works of art, works of literature. Yeah? Okay, let's see. To spin... An irregular verb, spin, spun, spun. So, be careful of that, yeah? Um, they spun off the company. They spun it off. They spun off a series. They spun it off. So, to spin off is a separable phrasal verb. What about formality? Well... I would say a spin-off, and to spin-off, it's probably neutral formality, yeah? Um, I think you could use it both in an informal conversation and in a, um, a formal document. I think in the business sense, it's maybe slightly more formal. It's talking about the legal way a legal way of selling part of your company or separating it to give to someone else. Um, okay, so, a spin-off as a phrasal noun, to spin off. Now, with a spin-off, as in the phrasal noun, I think you can have a spin-off, one word, a spin-off with a hyphen between spin and off, and a spin-off as two separate words. I've seen all three. So, if you ask, I would probably recommend using the hyphen, yeah? Halfway between the two. Although, I think in the future, it will become one word, yeah? So, a spin-off. An additional benefit from something that arose accidentally by chance. The separation of part of a company into a new company. And a new uh, thing arising from an old work, an old series, an old older book, and something that's already existing. Okay? So, to spin off, a spin off. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Spin off.